guys and welcome back for today's video. Today I am filming a misguided haul and I'm really really excited about it. Lately I've been on this like hype of watching like Pretty Little Thing, Misguided, Boohoo, um, Mistress Rocks and like House of CB, like all of those online stores. I've been watching haul videos, girls do haul videos of them. And they're probably some of my favourite haul videos to watch. I think because you can order it online like then and there as soon as they show the product. I don't know why, I just really like it and it's not, the stuff isn't really, really expensive. Um, but sometimes Topshop can be a little bit expensive. So some of these other stores I feel give you the chance to kind of get the stuff for less, which is quite nice. Um, yeah, I know I film a lot of haul videos on this channel. If you're not into it, I'm really, really sorry. I just know that quite a lot of people like to watch them. And I was also thinking of making this a series. So please let me know in the comments if that would be something you would be interested in. Kind of like a, so I do like a misguided haul, then like a pretty little thing haul, then like a boohoo haul. And I kind of like review the company, review the quality, the pieces that I got, what I thought of them. Cause I know that sometimes some of these online websites can be a little bit hit and miss. ASOS, things like that. So let me know if you would like me to do that. And also let me know what shop you like me would you would like me to film next. Um, I was thinking of Pretty Little Thing, but I'm happy and open to whatever shop you guys would be interested in me kind of like reviewing and buying clothes from. Because as you know, I have a problem where I just buy a ridiculous amount of clothes with my student loan. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna leave it here. Um, that way you guys will be informed when I upload and when I do more of these kind of like haul videos, because I do them quite frequently on my channel. I'm thinking of doing another Primark haul soon, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. Um, but yeah, let's get into this video. Okay guys, so these are all the things I got from Misguided. For once, Misguided actually delivered when they were supposed to deliver. I got next day delivery, and I sometimes have a few problems with next day delivery. Don't know if I'm the only one that feels that way. Um, I know some of my housemates sometimes don't get their deliveries when they're supposed to. So they did next day delivery, so well done Misguided. Normally I'm there on Twitter like, why have I not had my stuff delivered? So I'm really, really happy about that. Okay, the first thing that I have here is a jumper. Uh, and this was £14.40. It was more than that. £14.40, that's all right. For a hoodie, for a jumper. Because I wear this kind of thing to uni all the time. So it looks like this. It just says West Coast on it. It's coming up white on my camera, but it's actually not. It's baby pink. I don't know why it's coming up white. And then the actual top is um hoodie is green um i wear this kind of stuff to uni so it's just really really handy for me i got this in a size medium i know that it is oversized it definitely looks oversized but i really like that kind of comfy fit especially because i end up shrinking everything in the wash so really doesn't bother me that it's oversized um like i said this was 14 pounds 40 and it's so soft on the inside like you know when you first get jumpers and they're really lovely and soft i think what i'm gonna do with this is what um sarah ashcroft does with all her hoodies i like love her so much she cuts them and makes them kind of high-waisted and they've got like a nice frayed edge so I might do that um I think that might look quite cool um but yeah I reckon I'll keep this it's just kind of like a basic and I needed I needed like a comfy sort of slouchy hoodie to wear to uni and around the house so that's the first thing I got okay guys onwards and upwards um the next thing that I have is this top and I'm so excited to do this and I'm thinking of wearing this out this week so if I do like a get ready with me or something I'll try and show you guys my outfits you can actually see what I was thinking when I ordered this but I'm going to try it on anyway um this is called the I think this is called the black cutout seek the storm graphic t-shirt I'm going to leave links to it below and I literally just bought this stuff so hopefully it will all be online and this I got in a size 10 and I got it for £14.40 again so, looks like this. Just is kind of like a, it's a very like boxy kind of basic t-shirt. If you're not into kind of like quite large sort of t-shirts, if you like something more fitted, you might not like this. But the material is really, really soft, which I quite liked, because I hate when those kind of band tees are like, quite like a thick material. I don't actually like that. I find it a little bit restrictive. So this feels really, really nice and loose. Um, it's just got the choker bit around the neck and then it cuts here into like quite a deep V. I was planning on wearing this with like a really, really nice like lacy bralette underneath and like a layering loads of chokers um, with like a skirt. I just thought for thought for a night out, it would look quite cool. I know these kind of like 
band tee um, and like Metallica and like all of that. Um, those tops are really, really in at the moment. I've seen so many in Bershka as well and everywhere else. I see them on Instagram all the time. So I thought I'd kind of try it out. I thought it was an easy way to kind of get into the trend because it's a V-neck, so you can still kind of wear it on a night out. I know at uni here, everyone goes so casual on a night out, so I think that will work well. The next item I got, I'm so excited about, and this is actually my favorite item that I picked up. This is called the um, Black Lace Up Super Stretch Mini Skirt. Now, I'm really, really awkward. I don't know if you guys have the same problems, and if you do, you'll really, really be able to sympathize with me. I am so in between sizes in so many different shops, and I always have to try clothes on. I can never go into Topshop and like just buy it off the rack and expect it to fit. I am just, I'm such a variation of sizes all over my body. Um, so that's probably why I don't like online shopping and I don't do it more. It's just the fear of like stuff not fitting and then I'm really lazy and I won't return it and that kind of thing. So I read the reviews and a lot of people were saying that it was really, really short. I actually got this in a size 12 and I really hope this fits in the cutaway. I'm gonna be so upset if it doesn't. Um, but it feels, honestly, this material feels like, it, it's like, um, it must be like elast elasticine or something, I don't know, it's literally just completely stretchy. So, fingers crossed it will fit. It is just a black basic mini skirt, but I loved this kind of, um, I'll try and show you, lace up detailing on the front. Um, I thought that looked really, really, really nice and something a bit different. And I thought this would look really, really nice with the top that I just showed you for a night out. Um, there's no pockets on the back or anything and these are fake pockets on the front. But yeah, I just thought it was kind of cute and it's like a little bit like cool and, and I love this like lace up detailing that's on everything at the moment. As you will see, I actually picked something else up that has this lace detailing on the front as well. So I was really happy with that and I didn't think that £17.60 was that bad. I mean, Topshop would probably charge like £36 for this. So yeah, I didn't think it was that bad. Okay guys, so the next thing I got is actually the last clothing item that I picked up. Um, and I'm so scared that these are not gonna fit. I'm gonna feel so embarrassed if none of this stuff fits me. These are called the Vice High Waisted Coated Lace Front Skinny. And these were a little bit more, these were 24 pounds. Still not shocking, but a little bit more. I actually saw these in, I think her name is Tashi, Tashi Tinks or Tashi Talks or, I can't really remember her YouTube name now, but I will leave her below because her videos are amazing. And she did a haul video recently from Misguided and she showed these jeans. I also saw these jeans on Sarah Ashcroft's Instagram, but they weren't coated. They were just like the normal jean material. And I can't remember why I didn't order them. I have a feeling I didn't order them because they didn't have my size. And I had a feeling that I ordered these coated ones because I think they're a bit better for a night out. Um, yeah, I just kind of prefer a bit of a coated sort of jean for a night out. It dresses up the jean a bit more. So these are black. They've got that kind of coating on them, like I've said. I've got a pair of really similar to this from Topshop. They are they are really stretchy, actually. So hopefully I'll be able to wiggle my weight into them. Um, because they just look so small for a size 12. I just think they look so small. So this is them all the way down, just plain black. But then again, they have that really, really nice kind of lace up bit on the front as you can tell i'm really really liking this but i just think when you wear like smaller tops and crop tops it's nice to have something going on here and yeah i just quite like it i know it's not everyone's thing the nice thing about these is they've got a zip on the side so if you are a little bit bigger in the bum and the thigh area because they've got a zip on the side hopefully you'll be able to kind of get your way into them why have i gone orange on my camera i got oh, just the accessories so I know that this isn't the biggest misguided haul, but I thought I'd show you what I got anyway. Um, I'll show you the socks that I got. So I got these um, really cute socks, and I thought of wearing these with like a denim mini skirt, my like Nikes, like trainers, because everyone just wears trainers on a night out. Um, and then these, and I thought they'd be really cute because they're kind of come up to like round by where your ankle is. So these are white with baby pink love hearts and blue writing on them, and they say, babe, power is i just think that is just the cutest thing ever um they were two pound 40 so yeah if you don't want to spend two pound 40 on a pair of socks which i completely understand um 
yeah, I bet you can get these really cheap elsewhere, but I couldn't resist. I thought they were really, really sweet. And I do kind of, this stuff I will wear at uni quite a lot. I also got them in baby pink with gold stars. I know this is not everyone's kind of thing. It's really sort of like baby spice, but I just love that kind of thing. Like, especially in Nottingham on a night out, it just looks really, really cute. So I picked up those two pairs of socks. And then lastly, jewellery. I don't normally tend to buy jewellery from Misguided. So this is a bit of a first for me. But if any of you know um, by Brickell, she's been wearing for like years these amazing kind of like cross um, necklaces and earrings. And oh my God, they're stunning. And they're by a company called... I think it's called Fawn Star. If I'm wrong, I'm going to write it here and I will leave a link to the website below. And they do these incredible like earrings and chokers. And I think I am going to bite the bullet and order one thing from them because I think it will be worth it. But they are quite expensive. So I kind of went for a bit of a copy and I bought these cross earrings. They are, how much were these? Um, they were £4.80. So, kind of alright, they feel quite sturdy. I know this is not everyone's thing, and I'm not overtly religious, so I probably shouldn't be wearing this as an accessory. Um, but I just kind of really like the trend at the moment. Like, Vibracal looks, they just look so cool with everything that she wears. So, I'm so sorry, I've honestly got the worst cold. So this is what they kind of look like. Um, hopefully they'll look quite nice. I feel like if you've got your hair up, um, and like nothing here, kind of big earrings look quite nice I tend to wear hoops every now and again but I wanted something a little bit different and I know they are you know big crosses they're not going to be everyone's thing but I quite like them and they're covered in um I'll hold them closer so that you guys can see they're covered in like diamantes which I thought was quite a nice little touch so yes they were £4.80 and then the other thing that I got, I love. This is a choker, and this was... This was this was expensive, actually. Really expensive. This was £9.60. So, yeah, this was pretty expensive. I wonder why. Um, oh, my God, I love it, though. So it's a denim choker. I hadn't got into the denim ones yet. I've got into chokers. That I do like them, I'm not going to lie. I know they're not everyone's cup of tea, but I do really quite like them. I just loved how this one was a denim choker, but it still had a bit of sparkle on it because I feel like sometimes the denim ones, like, I couldn't really wear on a night out or anything because they weren't, like, glitzy or anything. But this one, obviously, is so, so, so sparkly. So it just looks like that, and it's just, like, that frayed kind of distressed denim. Um, yeah, I just quite liked it. I think it adds something to an outfit. That's the nice thing about chokers. You could literally be wearing, I feel like, the most basic outfit and put a choker on, and it changes the whole look. So I really, really liked this. Okay, guys, so that is everything that I got. I hope you like the cutaways and me trying this stuff on, and I hope you like the video as well. If you did, please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it, and if you want me to kind of turn this into a bit of a series. Um, I just felt like that would be really, really fun to kind of trial out these online websites. Um, because I know, I'm sure we've all had our experiences, our fair share of experiences in the past with some of them, with delivery and things like that. So I feel like you'll get to know what I think and what happened just with my experience with these websites. So I hope you enjoyed this misguided haul. I know it wasn't the biggest haul in the world, but um, there's a few things that I wanted to pick up and I liked. If you did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to be up to date on my channel. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and for all the amazing support. I know that we've recently just hit 8,000 subscribers and I honestly could not be happier. Um, like, just so nice that we're building such a really, like, good sort of, like, community. And I, yeah, I, I love that I've hit 8,000 subscribers. I never really intended to do that at all when I started my channel. So it's really, really lovely. Um, let's try and make it to 10 because I do want to do a really good giveaway for you guys. Um, both over on my Instagram and on YouTube. So, yeah. Keep subscribing, keep your eyes peeled for that, and um, I will catch you all in my next video. Bye, guys.